Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generations Legacy United, the Star Raider subline Lockdown. We have Lockdown here, and Lockdown is a repaint with a new head remold uh, of the Transformers Generations Legacy Axle Grease, who was a remold of Scrap Hook from the Junkions from, from Legacy Evolution. Um, lockdown here, I mean, this is a, a pretty faithful repaint. We've got uh, some really nice, uh, it's like black, but it's got just a tinge of maybe brown in there. Some nice dark green paint here on these stripes. Uh, nice red paint here. I am a little bummed if you can see this red on, on this plastic is significantly darker than the red here. I kind of wish it was consistent throughout. Silver rims, some silver painted details. Um, we've got his hook and like an engine block back here, um, as well as, you know, the fender and stuff. So the paint on this guy is nice and he rolls just fine. This is a good mold. We we had, you know, axle grease. These are the, the two toys, you know. It was good the first time around and I really like these colors. I am okay uh, getting it one more time, uh, you know, in the line. But I don't know that I love this as lockdown. Uh, something about it, like a lot of the details are correct. And maybe if I take this, these little extra tailpipes off, um, you know, it. I think for me, it's the proportions in this mode. Um, he seems squished. And I think a big part of that comes from the fact that my lockdown is the <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen lockdown. And man, that is a mean looking machine. I think this shows, you know, the, the intended buyer, hey, here's what we're homaging. I mean, it looks brilliant as an homage to the original toy, but that original toy is, you know, that is, that is a mean racing vehicle. Um, I really, really like the way the original lockdown looks. Um, and, you know, in this case, we got some uh, transparent orange. We've got two tones of green. We've got a little bit of gold here. Um, so things have been kind of simplified down. Also, on my copy, I've been trying to squeeze him together. This back end just keeps wanting to, to come out. Uh, it's not like doesn't affect much other than just doesn't look great. It kind of adds to the Mad Maxi feel. But I'd say in alt mode, um, it's impressive what they did with just repainting the figure. Um, but it, to me, it doesn't capture what I'm looking for in lockdown. Now, we have seen this transformation before. So we're going to go ahead and transform him fast forwarding. And in robot mode, this is where I think lockdown really doesn't do it for me. Again, pretty good paint. We do uh, alternate our green from a brighter and a darker green. We do have what I think is a pretty great head sculpt. I think that's a very solid. Um, but the stature here is unfortunate. For comparison, right, here he is against a deluxe car. You know, it's just not a very intimidating height. Now let's bring in the Rise, <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen lockdown. Uh, let's move our camera up. <laughs> so we can see kind of the difference that we're talking about. This is scary and intimidating. This is not so much. I mean, he looks cool. He, he does still have the Mad Max vibe, um, but he does not come across... Uh, with the same level of intensity as this guy does. Plus, this neck joint is awesome, where it's got three sections and they can all move. Like, there is a lot of expression you can get out of that head that this one just swivels. Um, it feels, in general, like a downgrade. We do have a bit of gold paint here. He can hold his gun in a way that he can have his hook hand, but I, it doesn't look terrific to me. And if you notice, this elbow joint is not awesome. Um, it does feel like the joints in general are less good than on axle grease. I also don't love the fact 
that we have a Decepticon symbol right here. The Star Seekers have their own symbol. Lockdown is a mercenary. The mercenary's got a dedicated symbol uh, back in Earthrise. Um, I don't know why we didn't use those symbols versus just the standard Decepticon one. It's those sort of details that make this seem more like an admirable but ultimately uh, flawed effort. Uh, so, you know, all the same articulation. You can still rip him off at the joints. He does all the same great Junkion stuff, just unfortunately a little looser. Um, if you're looking for more Junkions, I think... There's nothing wrong with this guy adding him so, so, for some different colored parts to your collection. But for me, who like cares about the characters, this doesn't feel like Lockdown to me. He can do stuff like, you know, Lockdown has his little engine block forearm gun. We can do that kind of here. And that's neat. But it's not enough to overcome the other shortcomings of the figure. <laughs> Um, so that being said, uh, this is going to be a giveaway. This lockdown, uh, does not have a place on my shelf. I'm keeping the revenge of the fallen lockdown. I mean, look at him despite like, you know, he's got rubbery hand joints and, and he's a little fiddly. I think he just still looks fantastic. So, uh, this is a giveaway right now. I'm in London. Uh, as of when this comes out, I am uh, maybe I'm like on a plane back from London. Um, so uh, the giveaway question is going to be simple. It's uh, summer is over. How was everyone's summer? Did you get to do any traveling? Did you uh, get to spend any time with family? Did you get to get any projects done? Did you just rest? Um, you know, uh, did you just work? I worked during the summer. I got to go on some trips and I'm really grateful for that. But I was I, I got a job, so I, I don't really get time off. Uh, yeah, just how was your summer? Let me know. Uh, go down, if you haven't done my giveaways before and you want to win this lockdown, go down in the comments below, answer the question of the day, how was your summer? Uh, tell me you want to enter the giveaway. And then uh, one week from today in that video, I will announce the winner. In order to do that, I need to draw the winner uh, six days from today. So you have until Friday to enter the giveaway and then Saturday the giveaway winner will be announced. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hopefully this was a short one. Catch you all later. Bye.